water. It's it's dirt on the shelf. It's pretty dirty. Yeah. Fire. <laughs> Air. Air. What's up, y'all? It's your boys, NPC the gang in this piece. You got main time. Keys in. Bradley. It's your video. With Earth. Fire. fire. Air. Wait, what's order? Did it it's water, earth, fire. Why did you just say water? water. water. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> that, that, that's actually funny. I'm like. We're gonna watch the pitch meeting of that from Screen Rant. Uh, mm -hmm. Avatar: The Last Airbender, oh, one of the yeah. worst adaptations of all time. <laughs> why? Why did you make this movie? Like M Night. I, I can't pronounce your last name. Anymore. Like, I feel like if you're gonna do a movie on something, make money off of it. No material. You at least study it. Yep. You know, if you got a test on something, you got to speak about something. How what you going to do? You're going to do research on that how, topic, how, right? How, how long did it take to make that movie to be, be that bad? He said he looked on the picture. He's like, interesting. What's their powers? Where's their names? Their na uh, Aang. Um. You know what? You know what? Let's not even get into all the details of how bad this movie is. I feel like he's gonna explain it enough. So let's get into it. So you have a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. It's based on an animated show called Avatar: The Last Airbender. Oh, is it any good? People seem to love it, sir. So I figure yes, it could be a good idea to, you know, take hours of storytelling and cram it into a 90-minute movie. I mean, that's probably it's fine. Yeah, no, it's probably not a big deal. So what happens in this thing? Well, the movie takes place in a world where, like, different people and tribes can, you know, control okay. the elements like water, air, earth, All right. fire. Oh, how do they do that? By moving their arms around slowly. For, for quite some time. Doesn't sound super exciting. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. It's going to be like it. watching old people do Tai Chi in the park, just really, really taking their time with it. You know, moving their arms around, doing it real, real slow. <laughs> well, okay then. So anyway, then we're going to meet this girl Katara and her brother Sokka or Soka or Seko or something. <laughs> oh, and what are they like? Oh, well, in the show, Sokka Soko, he's, he's a very funny character. Yeah, nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we're not going to do that in the movie. Oh, we're not. No, like I said, we got to cram a bunch of episodes into a single movie, so there's no time for anyone to have, you know, personalities or, or nope. character traits or anything. Nope. Eh, probably not too important anyway, that's what I uh. figured. So Katara, she can kind of water bend, right? So right. she accidentally drops a bunch of water on her brother. Oh, so he gets all wet? No. Oh, he doesn't. Do you know a big <laughs> ball of water dropped on him doesn't uh, wet him at all? Wait. Well, we'll off to a great start so oh, far. Thank right. you. So anyway, then they stumble upon uh, this boy that's kinda... been frozen in ice for a hundred years. His name is no, Ong. Man. Are you sure that these Name oh, pronunciations are the same as they are in the show. There's literally no way for me to verify that. Oh, that's too bad. And so this kid, Ong, can actually bend all the elements. He's this thing called the Avatar, and he's the last airbender. That's the yes, name of is. the movie. It is. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> wow. So anyway, the Fire Nation have taken over the world, right? They're like the bad okay. guys, and they run okay. the show. Okay. okay. Now we're going to meet this Fire Nation prince, Zuko. And he really <laughs> wants to get his hands on the Avatar so he can stop being exiled. He doesn't like being exiled. Oh, not being exiled. Exiled is tight. It is pretty great. So he straight up kidnaps Ong, you know, he takes him. Very rude. So obviously Katara and Soka, they're like, we gotta go get this kid, you know? He's our responsibility. Obviously. Wait, why is that obvious? <laughs> I don't know. Do they have they bonded no. or something? Not really, no, because no, there's no time. We can't we don't have time for that. Well, okay then. So then Ong manages to escape and he flies away with Katara and Soka. And where do they go? Well, they fly all the way to the place where Ong is from, and when they get there, Katara's like, hey, is it okay if I ask it's your name? Me, she just I now see. asks him what his name is? Yeah, no, I guess she didn't ask him that when they like met him or when they rescued him or when they traveled with him for a long period of time. Huh. So Ong finds out that all his family and his people have been wiped out by 
by the Fire Nation, so he's sad for several seconds. Very emotional. And then they're gonna head over to this Earth tribe, where all these people are being held captive by the Fire Nation. And they're gonna be like, hey, you guys should totally rise up. Like, that'd be that'd be great if you did that. Yeah. Well, hadn't they risen up before? Jeez. Unclear, but Ong and Katara, they're gonna be like, you guys have Earth right under your feet. You should <laughs> use that to, 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 you know, stop the Fire People. <laughs> they hadn't thought of that. I guess not. Nobody. Full disclosure None in the show, they were being held captive on the ocean, so there was no Earth for them to rise up with, but I decided See? to change that. Why? Oh, I don't, I'm just kind of changing things. I don't know why. Oh, yeah, I mean, sure, have fun with it, you know? So then there's <laughs> going to be this really intense moment where six Earth people, they come walking out, six. and they're doing, like, this haka dance thing. Oh, yeah. boy, I bet they're going to bend a lot of Earth with that, huh? No. Not really, no. Oh, you know, they're going to do that big dance, and it's just going to, it's going to kind of raise a single rock, and they're going to throw that at one guy. Yeah, it's still kind of exciting, I guess. No, no, not really. No, no, okay, no, no. So then Ong admits that he doesn't really know how to bend anything <laughs> other than air, so they need to find him some teachers. Okay. So they head towards the Northern Water Tribe, and along the way, they free a bunch of other villages. Well, well, that's gonna be fun to see. No, 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 we're not really gonna see any no. of that. Oh, we're not. No, yeah, no we yeah. gotta keep going with the story. So we're gonna say most of the interesting stuff in, like, a voiceover. Is that the, is that the best way to tell a story? Well, I'm just following the first rule of screenwriting, sir. Tell, don't show. Oh, I think mean, he got that backwards. No, I don't yeah. think so. It's like they say, you know, a thousand pictures are worth a single word. That's also the opposite of the real one. <laughs> well, disagree to agree, I guess. That's all. Okay, yeah, sure. So anyway, eventually they get to the Northern Water Tribe and they meet a bunch of waterbenders and Princess Penis Hair. What? <laughs> they're a sad boy. They fall in love right away, you know? So they're, they're, they're in love now. What makes them fall in love? The fact that we're gonna say that they're in love now in a yeah. voiceover he narration. Yeah, you're sure we shouldn't be showing these moments instead of dumping them out in voiceover? Absolutely I am. Well, okay then. Screenwriter guy and producer guy became great friends during this conversation. They went on to fight many battles together and win several wars. Of course, this had always been the prophecy. You see, when producer guy was a young child, he was told that he was the chosen one, like Neo in The Matrix. But because of a leather allergy, he didn't think he could live up to those high expectations, and he ran away to Hollywood. Also later, he and screenwriter guy would both become president of the United States. Together, they both they, they shared the job, like a tag team of presidents, one of which could not wear leather. And when aliens invaded, everyone was very grateful to have producer guy and screenwriter guy as co-presidents of the United States. Also, the building that they're in right now during this conversation is on fire, but they're gonna get out of it just fine. Don't even, don't even worry about it. Anyway, so then the Fire Nation, they attack the Water Kingdom. Oh no. Yeah, and this bad guy from the Fire Kingdom, he's gonna kill a fish, which is actually the moon spirit. Spirit, which is actually where the water people get their power. Oh, I mean, okay. Yeah, don't worry, it's all gonna be very clear to the audience, because we're gonna explain it verbally, out loud with words. A whole <laughs> lot of exposition. So then the princess, she's gonna give her life to the fish, because one time the moon spirit gave her life, and so it's like, yeah, okay, let's, you know, let's do that. Oh, well, great, I guess, you know, I feel absolutely nothing. Well, that's fine, I mean, we don't really have time to make people feel things here. Shouldn't we try to make people feel things, though? Isn't that what movies are all about? Actually, no. Oh, okay, my bad. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So is it gonna be tough for them to beat the Fire Nation? Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yes, yeah, the Ong makes a really, really big wave and everybody sees it and they're like, oh, okay, yeah, no, let's stop fighting now. Yeah, oh, great. Like yeah, it all works out. So how does the movie end? Well, the leader of the Fire Nation, he's gonna turn to his daughter and be like, hey, you better, you, you gotta get ready for the sequel, okay? Oh, he has a daughter. Yeah, we're barely yeah. gonna mention her in the movie, but we're gonna show her for a second at the end and that's really gonna tease the sequel. And you're sure this is gonna be popular enough for people to want more movies? You yeah. know, this adaptation? with all the stuff removed. I mean, people love cheese and shredded cheese, so, I mean, what are you trying to say? I'm saying as far as I can tell, people don't mind if you take something they love and, you know, tear it to pieces. Uh, you know what? That does sound like it makes sense. Let's do it. Hey guys, it's Ryan here. Hope you like that pitch meeting. There Avatar The Last Airbender. Cartoon. Fantastic. That That's bullshit? From what I just heard, and I never watched it. Ass. You should. You've yeah, seen yeah. Avatar before, right? The, the cartoon, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you saw how, how, you know how good it I didn't, was. I didn't watch the full season. Okay, it's on Netflix. You've seen Netflix. the Earthbender though before, right? Mm -hmm. Six of them niggas for one small thing to hit one person did that. They trapped Earthbenders around Earth. I'm like, it's right there. I'm about to have a. No. 
an obsession in my fucking head. That's so dumb. See, it took kids to come up there. They were like, hey, you're surrounded by earth. You're hey, you know you're standing on dirt, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> you see. I, I never I, knew. Hey, hey, wait, wait, wait. I never knew. So you ready? Let's both of us do this. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, come on. Ah, 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 ah. It's a pebble. Yeah, that's what we did. Yeah, good teamwork. Yeah. We, 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 we threw a rock. I'm about to have an aneurysm. You see, you see right. in the cartoon, they're on a ship. Like a metal ship. Well, they can't earth bend. But then their names. Who, who, who is Soka? Who is Ong? Why are they white? There was no emotion from Ang or... or Sokka. Why? I ain't in Sokka. There were no, literally no emotion. They were serious the whole movie. Brad just said something exactly what I was thinking beforehand. What'd you just say, Brad? White wash. White wash movie. You know, they are not supposed to be white. And then you get, you get the Fire Nation right, but that's the only, only uh, color y'all get right. Actually, just one person who was right in that. The bad guys? What is that? Come That's on. why when Netflix have their live action of it, he has the actual creators doing it. And they're actually taking their time and doing it. And then like, it's Corona, you know, it's getting... It's, it's going to be even longer. Cause it's, I, it's supposed to like, I think a trailer supposed to come out next year or something. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm pretty sure they got pushed back. Yeah. But so, no, whenever, but I, I'm going to be patient. Yes. I'm going to be patient. Yes, because it's worth the wait, man. See, whenever it comes to Netflix... Well, we'll give you a review of it. But I ain't that real stuff, man. Yeah. That real stuff. Until then, go back to Netflix. Watch the Avatar Last Ant Breaker. The whole series yes. is on there. Watch yes, it. it's right there. Experience Breaker. Experience how it actually was. Not that trash. Not that boo boo. Yep. If you haven't seen it, it's also on Netflix. Don't watch it. Yep. Don't watch it. Yeah. Unless you're that curious. If you want to see a bad movie, be my guest. But if you for anybody that's seen Dragon Ball Evolution, that it's shit like was that. horrible. It's like that. That shit was horrible. It's it's just like that. And what the fuck was that? That's Piccolo, because it's not Piccolo. We're not going to even get into that. <laughs> We're not even going to get into that. But you should that. get into that. Like button. Subscribe. And then, that's my line. Ha <laughs> ha. Share. Ah. Comment. Get that post notification bell so you can get all the posts on the <laughs>